bracelet. Did Miss Moria cry when you gave her that? I know she showed me. I'm sorry, 
We hear and say these words often throughout our day. I'm sorry I was late to school. I'm sorry I accidentally bumped into you. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. I'm sorry I ate the last chocolate donut. I'm not speaking from experience. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Apologizing is something we get used to hearing, but do we really forgive every time? When you forgive, you're asking God to help you completely let go of any anger or other bad feelings you had because of what that person did. This can be really hard to do, especially when your feelings of sadness or anger are really strong. It's so important to truly forgive because if you don't, those bad feelings will only get stronger if something happens again with that person. It's just like when you don't clean up your, before you take out your toys. You keep adding to the layer of toys on the floor, and before you know it, you can't walk in your room. If you don't forgive and let go of those feelings of anger or sadness for the other person, you'll have an enormous mess inside your heart for them. Our third graders hopefully read in their Peacemaker Family Project this month about Blessed Margaret of Castello. She was born blind and with a really bad back, which made it hard for her to walk. Her parents were ashamed of her and didn't want others to find out about her, so they locked her away in a cell next to the church, which allowed her to still hear mass. A priest eventually found her, discovered how smart she was, and started to teach her about God and the Catholic faith. Margaret was able to forgive her parents and the others who hurt her. We certainly can pray to Blessed Margaret of Castello to help us forgive others. And guess what? Ms. Castle just told me that only four days ago, Pope Francis declared Margaret a saint. Pretty exciting. Lions, we see and hear you every day accepting apologies from your classmates, and even us sometimes, and are so thankful for your loving and forgiving hearts. We pray that you continue to truly let go of any negative feelings when you say, that's okay, to each other. You'll be happier and feel closer to God if you truly and fully forgive every time. All right, let's start honoring our lions. As you know, every month our students have the chance to study our virtue at home, and we want to recognize students who spent time with their families completing this month's Peacemaker Family Project for Forgiveness. Remember to check Parents Web for the link to the projects each month, and Ms. Mack will give you reminders in the Friday newsletter. The following students have submitted their Forgiveness Family Project and can stand when I call their names. Copeland Meredith. Go ahead and stand, Copeland. Cheney Meredith. Azara Mumford. Faith Bazako. Lillian Skiba. Will Greenlee. Katiri Nixon. Lainey Beasley and Allison Wilkins. Students who submit a project each month earn a service point for their families and receive a special prayer card from Ms. Castle. Thank you, Lions, for making your peacemaker virtues an important part of your family time at home. Can we give them a round of applause? Good job, Lions. You can have a seat. And now we need to see which Lions our teachers have selected to honor for the virtue of forgiveness. So, Ms. Davis, will you come up here, please? Bless you. All right. Ms. Davis, for her music class, would like to recognize Kateri Nixon. Come on, Ms. Kateri. She also received her first Holy Communion on Sunday. Congratulations, Kateri. And for Spanish, Mrs. Malay would like to recognize Abigail Candel. Come on down, Abigail.
Courtney and Miss B would like to recognize Olivia Pandel. <laughs> Each month when they received this award, 
And now then, it's your turn. Congratulations. and an outstanding student to her teachers. Bella, thank you for your forgiving heart. It's always been an honor to be your teacher this year and every year to me. Amongst our students. 
But students also learn from the role models around them. Believe it or not, they watch our every move and listen when we don't think they are. Forgiveness is, for me, one of the most challenging parts of the Catholic faith. Every morning we recite, forgive, our, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Every day we are not just reminded to forgive, but instructed, commanded to forgive. I think part of giving forgiveness is the grace that we show while giving it. This month's faculty peacemaker shows grace to her students in many ways. I'm honored to share that our faculty forgiveness peacemaker is Mrs. Jean Marie Engel King. Sure. 